LSU has a storied history of fielding extremely talented receivers that go on to find success in the NFL. In a loaded 2024 class, Brian Thomas Jr. could end up being an overlooked gem. Let's get into it on this Two Minute Drill. If you strip away analytics, combine data, and even tape, GMs will always look for three basic things, height, weight, and speed. Brian Thomas Jr. passes with flying colors in all the categories. At a sturdy 6 foot 4 and 205 pounds, his frame allows him to tower over DBs, and he has the strength to spin them off him if they do catch up to him. His speed is deceptive, especially for his size, and while his get off at the line may be good, his long speed is tremendous, and it's a key part of LSU's deep ball game. What separates him from other receivers in this class is what he does after the catch. He and Keon Coleman are both deadly in tight windows, but Thomas is a natural with the ball in his hands and grinds up more yards upfield than you could ever imagine. This isn't to say that his game is entirely without warts. He's had several plays where easy drops turn six points into lost opportunities. While they may be concentration drops, they're still worth noting. There's some questions about his effort in run blocking as well, and some general stiffness in his route running that makes separation harder at the short and intermediate levels. Watching Brian Thomas Jr. play, I couldn't help but be reminded of Nico Collins back at Michigan. They both match up well with frame and speed, but Thomas had Jaden Daniels instead of Shea Patterson throwing to him. He projects easily as a starting X receiver at the next level, and one that only is going to be getting better in time. While the order the receivers will be drafted in could end up as a pick-your-flavor situation like the 2021 draft, it's hard to imagine that Thomas will be falling out of the top 20 picks. It's also hard to pick where he wouldn't succeed. I would say that he could excel on the Bears, Saints, and Jaguars especially, all teams in the market for someone literally heads and shoulders above the rest. For LSU receivers, neighbor gets the top billing, but it's impossible to deny the tantalizing upside that Thomas has. I expect to see them both in the green room on draft day. And that's the two-minute drill.